Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Sarah and we do beauty and life. Today I'm doing a makeup review and wear test. Products I'm gonna be reviewing are Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Primer and Setting Spray. They both retail for $38. This is the Pore Eclipse Primer. It is a water-based primer, which is good to know. And it's supposed to blur the pores and mattify the skin. Not all pore filling primers are mattifying, but this one does happen to be both. Another reason why I really wanted to try these together is because summer is coming up and your girl is a sweaty girl. So I'm trying to find all of the mattifying things that I can. It is supposed to give the skin a soft matte effect, almost like a filter. While filling the pores, it has natural ingredients. It's vegan and cruelty. I'm only going to put this in places where I do tend to get shiny throughout the day. So that's gonna be my T-zone. I'm gonna start with just one pump. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see my normal pores. I mean, I have them here like everyone else. It's pretty standard. It's very normal to have your pores a little bit larger there. I just wanna see, does this pore filling primer work? So I am going to put it here first. Going to put it where I am a little bit shiny already to see if it's taking down the shine. And for pore primers, you do typically want to kind of press them in so they really go into the pores. So that's what I'm doing for it to be the most effective. And it does look like I'm still a little shiny up here. So let's put some more. And I'm gonna start pressing it on the nose as well. It did definitely mattify this area, but did it get rid of the pore? You have a lot of pores here on my chin. Again, very normal. I want to normalize pores because there really is nothing we can do about them, but let's just see how much this product can help. It really is a soft mat. It's super comfortable on the skin. I'm very impressed with the ingredients and what it claims to do. So let's just do the rest of the makeup. My rule of thumb with makeup is to have a balance. So if I'm using a mattifying primer and a mattifying setting spray, I don't want the rest of my face to be too matte. Otherwise, our skin will freak out. And especially if you have normal to dry skin, it will get oily quicker because it's gonna overcompensate for the dryness. So today for foundation, I'm gonna use the House Labs. Use the Quickie Concealer. Get a little close up to see how my pores are doing on my face. Okay, from certain angles, the pores do definitely look filled. From some angles, I can still see them, but I'm not gonna lie, they do look pretty good. They look better than normal. For cream contour and cream bronzer, I'm gonna be going in with my Milk Makeup Duo. I don't wanna to go too heavy on the powder because I really wanna see how the setting spray and the primer are gonna work with holding up the makeup without having to like double set it. So I'm gonna use this one because this does not mattify the skin. It just sets and takes down the shine. So we're gonna be using this one. Let's take another look at the pores. Oh my gosh, girl, girl. With the combination of everything, what pores? What pores, I ask? Cream blush. Let's set under these eyes with the essence powder. A little bit of fixing spray just to melt the makeup together. I didn't use any other primer, keep in mind. So I just keep checking on the pores and they look so good. If you wanna see this eye look, it will be on my Instagram Reels and TikTok. So make sure to follow me on both of those. I would love to have you there as well. Time for the spray. This is what it looks like. It has this nozzle. It's a weightless, alcohol-free matte setting spray that locks on makeup up to 16 hours, helps blur pores, and controls shine with a soft focus finish. And it has the same 
key ingredients as the primer. This one does have silicone ingredients in it, but it doesn't have alcohol in it, which is really interesting because setting sprays, the alcohol is what absorbs all the oil typically, but this is probably for people who don't like alcohol in their setting sprays or it really dries out their skin. I'm gonna shake it up. This is actually sold out on Sephora right now. I'm gonna actually spray this all over my face because I want it to lock in all of the makeup. This is what we're looking like before. I actually love milk makeup misters. I like the Hydro Grip mister as well. So this is what it looks like. All right, this is what the makeup looks like with the spray on. I'm excited to see what the makeup looks like in six hours. Guys, I'm checking in and I honestly can't believe how good the makeup looks. It's actually been eight hours, not six hours. Wow. I'm gonna do a little zoom in here because this is crazy. As far as the wear test goes for the Milk Pore Eclipse Primer and Setting Spray, I am thoroughly impressed. And I didn't just sit around, I actually cleaned our apartment today. So I was sweating. When it comes to holding the shine back, I think it's done an amazing job. I look a little bit less shiny than I normally do at the end of the day. So I think this held up great. My makeup looks looks great and I will definitely definitely be keeping these two for the summer months coming up to keep my makeup in place and matte as far as pores are concerned I do feel like it did minimize the look of my pores a little bit but you can still see my pores I mean they're pores you guys I'm gonna say it again let's just normalize pores it's a part of our skin texture so it is what it is, but it did minimize them a little bit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. As far as I'm concerned, this wear test gets an A plus from me. Good job, Milk. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.